Hey you guys, um, coming today to talk to you about cages. Now we just recently had a really unfortunate event that happened at our zoo. Um, if you don't know about it, I won't tell you because it's really sad. But it made me think about cages and the cages that we are in and that we put ourselves in and that other people put us in. Um, so my question to you is, how big is your cage? And what is your cage? You might have more than one. There might be a lot of layers to our surroundings. What's holding you back from achieving goals, from being yourself? What is it that's stopping you? Is it shyness? being introverted? Is it a lack of information? Maybe you just don't have all of the knowledge that you need to do what it is you want to do. Is it laziness? That's a really unfortunate and uh, embarrassing one. Nobody wants to claim it, I know. But maybe we do. Some days it's, we let it Flip that we're a little lazy. Is it because we're too picky? Is it because we're too set in our ways and we have certain things that we're used to and we think we couldn't possibly like it any other way? Is it because is is it because we're stuck in a rut in our habits? It's kind of the same thing. It's a comfort zone. If your comfort zone has become a cage, then it is time to swing wide the gate, people, okay? If you are not feeling good, or if you are not happy, which is almost one and the same thing, if you're not physically well, if you are not spiritually well, if you are not emotionally well, you're, if your wellness is compromised, it's because you're inside of a cage. And it's time to... Open the gate, open the door, break the lock, and sometimes it's a little scary. If you have any pets, you kn might know, especially if you have a dog, you might have noticed that they encourage you, the experts encourage you to crate them, which if you're not a pet owner uh, and you're not familiar, what it means is you get a crate, not like a wooden crate like in Madagascar, like movie when they're floating. No, not like that. You get a, a wire cage, like we've been talking about, okay, it's like a cage, and you make it comfy for your pet, for your dog. Mine, my dog has a rather large one. It's probably a little bit bigger than he needs because he's only about 25 pounds, and it, it's the cage that I had from a 100-pound dog that I had before. But you put, you know, make it comfortable, make it feel safe, and that's what they think of when they go in there. That's their safe place. So I've noticed once they get used to going in there, when like you leave the house and you lock them in there, it's for their safety and for the safety of your home, your carpet, your door frames, whatever. Um, but, but it becomes their safe place. And sometimes, you know, sometimes you might have to lock them in there if you have people working on your house or the mailman is at the door or something. And then it might seem a little bit like punishment. But really, you're keeping them safe from you getting frustrated with them, too. So it, it's their safe place. It's their zone. That's where they will go if they get nervous. They might go in there of their own accord. So sometimes cages can make us feel comfortable because that's what we're used to. And that's what we always run to. We have to think outside the cage. We have to open up the gates, open the door, unlock it, and take a peek outside at what else is going on. Because just because we feel comfortable and safe in our cage does not mean there's not this whole big wide world of sports out there that we could be exploring and learning and becoming becoming something better than what we are. Not to say that you're not good. You probably are great. But 
you're watching my video, so that makes me think that maybe there's something you're seeking. Whether it's spiritual and you need to be fed spiritually, or if it's emotional, you just don't feel right, you feel out of sorts, maybe you're depressed, maybe you're scared, maybe you're sick. You don't know what to do because there are no answers because the doctor says, no, you're fine, but you don't feel fine. Something's not right. What is there left to do? The things that we were made to do. Eat and move. And go to the bathroom and sleep. But y'all are really good at those, I bet. So we'll cover the other two. And you guys know I talk all the time about exercise and its importance. And diet and its importance. But I want you to today think about your cage and how it applies to those. Okay? If you're in a comfort zone or a cage that is very tight as far as how you can move, then you need to make your cage bigger, at least move into a bigger cage. Because let me tell you, if you have a pet and they're used to being in that cage, in that comfort zone, in that safe space, and you want, if you wanted to get them to feel comfortable in the whole house and, you know, maybe maybe that's not for your dog if you have a dog that's that's a whole nother you know pets are a whole nother subject but let's think about this from their point of view for a second if I'm my dog and I am enjoying my cage and I'm used to its parameters and you put me in the backyard and say you're gonna live in the backyard now or you're gonna live in this big garage he's gonna be like crazy he's gonna be chewing stuff he's going to be it's overwhelming it's too much stimulation it's too much in his face all at one time so what i'm going to propose is that you just move into a bigger cage like a hermit crab with their shell you know they get the little shell they grow out of it they get a new shell so you need a new cage one that's a little bit bigger broaden your horizons widen it up the side length height and open your mind to what else you could be doing in small steps. It's like I tell you guys all the time. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. The same way you eat at a turkey sandwich. Is I don't know why I'm hungry. A turkey sandwich. Anyway, so one one little thing at a time. Don't try and run out into the backyard and be free all at once if you're used to this tiny little tight cage. Open it up. I keep telling y'all, swing open the door and take a peek outside. Don't go out there and if it's too scary. But move into the cage next door. Just take a little trip, okay? So if it's too big to just do all at once, and I've told y'all that, you cannot go zero to 60 in, a, in you know, a short time. You can't think that you're going to just be flying out the gate and be sedentary and in be a war horse you know you cannot go from one to the other it does you will not succeed maybe some people do I've never actually seen that happen now you say oh but I read all these stories about this person and they they didn't do anything for exercise and they were 800 pounds and like the next day they would weigh 92 pounds and were buff they don't tell you the whole story in those articles or videos. They tell you, oh, this person got a wake-up call. and They were scared. They were afraid they were going to die. So they started to exercise. And now look at them. They're great. They cut out that middle section where they tell you how they tried this or tried that. You don't get the whole picture. Maybe they tried to go 100 miles an hour, you know, out the gate and failed and had to pick themselves back up 20, 50 times, or maybe they paced themselves and just moved into a bigger cage until they got comfortable there and said, okay, I'm comfortable here, it's time to move up. It's time to expand, it's time to add more fruits and vegetables. It's time to maybe make some other changes. Sometimes, Broadening those horizons means getting rid of stuff that we don't need, but purging uh, um, and getting rid of junk 
is another analogy for another day. So let's just talk about adding. Adding the good foods in. You've heard this story, right? I've told you. Add the good foods in. Add the good movement in. Get out and take a walk. Go for a five minute walk every day. If you don't do anything, normally, walk around your house 20 times. Start walking around your house like five times every day. Just around the house, right? Not even go outside yet. Walk around the house. And then, after you've been doing that for a week, maybe walk, you know, up and down your, your sidewalk from one corner to the other a few times. Small little steps and build. I just recently heard that Dwayne Johnson does not lift heavy weights. I don't know if that's accurate. This is, a, this is what I heard, that he lifts small, like, lighter weights, probably heavier than I could lift, but he does not lift, like, he doesn't lift massive weights to look the way he looks and to be as fit as he is. He lifts smaller weights and does more repetitions, and he built his way up to that from somewhere. He used to be a little skinny kid, and now look at him. He did not into that overnight. There's no genie. You don't have a genie in your cage. So, expand. Crack open the door. Take a peek around. That means opening your mind. Don't just open the cage. Open your mind. Think of some stuff you haven't tried. Physical activity you haven't tried. Foods you haven't tried. Small scale. Add one new thing. In a few days, maybe add another thing. You know, with the food thing, adding new things in is not as scary as taking stuff away. So you can do that a little bit more rapidly than the exercise. But that's your assignment. There's no time limit. It's going to be 45. I'm not setting limits on myself. Don't set limits on yourself. But give it a try. Crack open your cage, because it lives in here, doesn't it? Crack it open, see what you're going to try, and let me know how it works out for you, okay? So, best wishes, good luck, God bless, and uh, come, come, see my, come see me on Facebook and stuff, because I've got a lot of stuff going on, and Instagram, but not having taken of any pictures of food lately, but maybe I should I'll show you how open my cage has gotten. <laughs> Alrighty. Love y'all. Get out the cage.